plenty of reactions uh, from from all sides uh, uh, after uh, this tragedy, including uh, this one from the governor of Texas, who's running for re-election, uh, saying these deaths are on President Joe Biden. They're the result of his deadly open border policy, says uh, Governor Abbott. Well, let's get reaction to that. Uh, with immigration attorney uh, Pamela Gangini, who joins us, uh, Munoz, who joins us uh, from uh, the uh, Texas border city of El Paso, former president of the board of the Las Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center. Thank you for speaking with us here on France uh, 24. What's your reaction to this tragedy? Well, like everybody else, I was shocked when I first um, saw the headlines of the breaking news and the the sheer number of people that that lost their lives and and were abandoned. Um, that was my my first reaction, uh, and then my I guess my second reaction as somebody that works in this area is just um, frustration at the continued um, occurrence of these incidents really, because it's it's preventable. How is it preventable? Well, I mean, to to take on what um, your comment was before I, I was um, interviewed, that uh, Governor Abbott, who is running for re-election, um, would put this on the Biden administration is a little bit disingenuous, especially when you consider that it's his political party and his um, attorney general who has joined other attorneys general from other states to try and pretty much block um, every humanitarian policy that this administration has attempted to either implement or reinstate um, and to um, block or repeal those policies of the Trump administration. Um, this is happening at a time, this particular tragedy is happening in the, at a time where um, Governor Abbott's attorney general joined other states to sue the federal government and prevent them from stopping um, policies like the migrant protection protocols, which is commonly known as the Remain in Mexico policy. From um, They've also stopped them from um, repealing Title 42, which, as you may know, was the um, Central for Disease uh, Control and Prevention's attempt to try and curtail the COVID pandemic when it was in full peak by um, allowing border officials to simply reject and refuse entry to people, individuals at the port of entry. And so when you in essence, prevent refugees from even reaching your borders to seek asylum, they are, we, we do agree on the one thing, that they are going to continue to put themselves in the hands of dangerous and careless people who uh, have very little regard for human life and will end up um, having these tragedies continue. All right. Well, thank you so much, Pamela Gengini Munoz, for joining us from El Paso.